the other one. Uh, it's nice to participate in this seven. I'm a CD and repair artist. I'm new media director at Sakari Studio and course lecturer at the Tao Academy at the Department of Technetics Art. My background combines both as my bachelor and graduate degree was in the computer science back in Russia and my master degree in the cinema studies in theory of television and cinema. I do like work with light, even if it's not my main fields now. But I always was inspired by light, uh, especially as I spent a lot of time by working as photographer or videographer before. So what I'm gonna talk today is a little bit not actually about light but more about the dealing with complex system and how we can get more by losing something. Actually, the title of my talk today is The Art of Losing Control. Uh, I will start from description what does the entropy mean. Yes, many of you think no in general. Uh, so entropy is a degree of this order or uncertainty in any system. This is the way of how we cannot predict that would mean uncertainty and yeah, predictability of the system. Even this the simplest system. For example, uh, recently you know it was quite popular sci-fi book of Chinese after free body problem and this is explained quite well how the very simple system of basically free object, free actors uh, can have almost infinite way of solutions. Yeah, so you cannot really predict the movement if you do not know all parameters. And actually, here is not so much parameter for the system. It is like free mass, free velocity, free starting points. But if we, you have even minimal mistakes here, you actually cannot predict it. That, and when we go to the like real world situation, it's even much more complex, right? How many variables, how many uncertainty we have in the, our world. So in case of entropy, basically what I can say is escaping determinism, right? We can think about our world as very deterministic. Actually, we can track back to the Big Bang, everything, of course, as long as we have enough computation and enough information. We do not have it, but the world system is pretty deterministic if we look backward, but it's very uncertain if we look forward. And same, for example, uh, with your conscious, ex conscious experience, yeah. It was experiment that actually proved that uh, your body, your brain have signal way before, then you actually make things that you make this decision, right? How the, how I can say, if, if I could not talk to myself, I have no way of knowing what I was thinking, right? That word as always inner dialogue is actually where our consciousness come up from. Okay, so after talking a little bit about entropy, about uncertain de determinism, uh, I want to talk a little bit about emergent properties. This term is pretty popular in physics, philosophy, computer science, information theory, and many other fields. So, what does it mean? Emergent properties of the complex system. Emergence occurs when the entity is observed to have properties its part does not have. What does this mean? It means 1 plus 1 equals 3 or even more. Yeah? If we are talking about some complex system and we take them apart, uh, we will not find these properties. Um, 
at the parts. They occur just when the system actually interact between each other. Uh, as example, we can talk, for example, about snowflakes here yeah, in physics. How these like molecules of the water can combine pretty complex geometric like fractal, fractal pattern, right? Or we can talk about beehive or ant colony when the each of element, each of organisms of this colony does not actually smart, but the whole system can show us some consciousness property, property and it can behave like in pretty smart and interesting way. Consciousness, one of the another big example that actually we still cannot understand here yeah, how these properties can arrive from our pretty much not so simple but explainable brain activities and from where our self and our conscious experience come up. And we can talk about the meaning. Meaning is another emergent property that because meaning happens just at the moment of interaction. So as we say in beauty in the eyes of the beholder, we can also say meaning in the eyes of the beholder. Yeah. If I the words I'm telling now, if no one listening it, no one actually watching this video now. They does not have any meaning in any sense to anyone. So here one question. What about light, right? As this conference is about the light, how we use light in cities and architecture in art in, in our life. So how is this entropy and emergent properties related to light? So light have by itself stochastic nature yeah it's very unpredictable nature light is very strong emotional right it can give you feelings it can give you mood when you we change the light it can actually control your not just keep it it can control your mood behavior your perception for example the it's proven that at evening would be better you will have the like low light rather than like selling light so if you want to like have a good sleep right and you should not have the blue light because this is how evolution works you know okay, if light go down and getting warmer it's closer to sunset and our body getting ready to sleep so as you know the power of light uh, a lot of artists trying to control the light, trying to control the environment, trying to build the installation where they can give this nice feeling. It's one of the good examples uh, all of all, right? Also, he he's very sim simple but very powerful. Light installation, light projects. Actually, it's very powerful, strong. And more and more people trying to go this direction. What the light for me? Actually, I'm, I'm more interested in to building the systems that I'm not controlling. That way I like life performance, that I like improvisation. I like to build the system that I can collaborate with, that I can play with that I'm not actually controlling, that I cannot predict what's going to happen the next moment of time. So here, what we're talking about us, <clears throat> for example, for like audiovisual show and live show, it's visuals and light is not just visualization of sound for me. It's visualization of environment. It's visualization of current time. It's happening at this moment and this place with this auditory, with this sound, so it's a lot of variables that can affect what actually gonna be on the screen or how actually the light gonna look, right? It's always all together. It's never one thing, it's never just like, okay, we're gonna play this sound today and visualize some sound. Uh, I do not have much interest in it. And actually, I do not like to control things. I like to give the freedom to things to, I like to be surprised 
by the work I'm doing. I like to be surprised how people can interact with this work. And I like to build the open systems. So here yeah, we come into the, our part, the art of losing control. Yeah. So rather than control the environment, control the light, control the feelings of auditory, I prefer to lose this control. I prefer to build very stochastic entropic system that can that can give some this emergent property. Right, that I actually cannot predict by when I designing this system. Sometimes I cannot think. Okay, if I put this light with the sound, it will. Yeah, you can think of it. Yeah, it's good work, nice. But sometimes it totally can show you different result, different effects, something bigger, something more than what you actually can predict and expect. So I I will show like few of my works, few installation and just very short description about them. So this first few works actually is a part of bigger series that I call Society. Basically this works where I take in the human behavior and put it in a multiple machine and looking how the system gonna interact with each other, with its environment and these people. And yeah, some of them related to light, some of them does not. So this is how I can build a very simple system that interact and evolve with environment with people. Here we have multiple simple robots that can react to sound, can react to the light, and these two sensors simple. It's enough to make it interact with people, interact with the environment, interact with each other. But again, as different machine, in a different moment of time could be in different modes, in different have different feeling, different emotions, so it will interact a different way and it can make kind of interesting system uh, all together. Yeah, and actually each machine when it started, it has also the set of parameters that's pretty run, like that's set up quite randomly, but it has a lot of inside dependencies for each other. The same for example for suicide property, as a machine that actually can burn or short, short themselves out if they in the deep depression it based on the personality uh, suicide so robot actually have more than 20 different personal characteristics from the what the childhood was what school they went what they work do they like work and what they're doing actually at this moment and what they're thinking and what's their background so it's become a quite complex system right the next project uh, I call it From Nothing. Uh, this is was collaboration with my friend LN, Lord Nothing. Actually, he's artist in seven. I do like his sound. It's more like drone-like sound. And this project uh, actually we played in the opening of Extra Time. Uh, we played in Chudu and we played in M50. And actually, I use it in different places. So this is uh, actually visualization as a talk of sound, environment and place, right? So from nothing, it's actually a set of different algorithms of like wrapping or noise processing. It's quite simple mathematics again, simple math. But you see it has almost infinite variation of the result you can get based on the various parameters and how each of these like algorithms and in which magnitude will apply it, in which order will apply it to the actual noise. All this image become from noise and after that I apply these filters to the noise to get these kind of visuals. And again, I, I cannot actually control, I cannot predict what's gonna happen next moment because I do not control the system. I can do some presets that I can set up some like starting point, but what's going to happen next? It will depend from the space, from the sound, how sound propagates in the space, how I get it in my microphone, if I use some additional sensor. So that's a system where I not really can control it. Uh, all my work here is just to collaborate with the system I built. 
<clears throat> uh, next project it was a sound session uh, with the jam my friend uh, it took few times in Shanghai so we just invite like a few musicians like up to eight and this is pretty much just like jam session like various positions from different fields with different instruments different music styles and actually it was always very nice so this one we did an M50 at the oh, art gallery and for this project uh, I decided to go like very simple so actually the use the screen and the projection as light source so one of the visual here is like sun for example in this simple video that script to generate this like sun visual and it is smooth and like disturb a little bit based on the again sensors and sound input so i actually didn't control anything there and the strong maybe colors and another one it was like a plane with light actually this was in collaboration with jared meme the performance artist so here i just have put simple gradient pattern is that move and animate with the sound and all effect that light will give us because I projected it on the photo of the like very thin like photo film right so we have reflection from this film on the whole space around and even if like it's very big space and it was not like for some of the projector not so bright enough but it actually was enough to get this reflection around the like water like pattern and to have these beams from this environment and again here I did not do anything except like I come up with the idea and after I just like let system feature to play by itself and uh, let Jared to play with the slide to play his reflection play it with the effect yeah so I so this is, uh, I think, a good example of like very min minimalistic and uh, open system. And the last project I want to talk a little bit, it's more about what if we, we're talking about light, but what is about like another properties of light? Because now it's always installations about always lighting, it's stage light, lighting system, LED light. But I do have project for Polaroid series where I use light, different light, different light sources, different materials that reflect or refract the light to actually draw on this Polaroid film without actual use of camera. So this is generating of like analog, actually art, piece with the light and the entropy. Because again, I am actually cannot predict what the effect going to be. If the system is like too complex, and too much variables here, like temperature, the humidity, how much light, where I'm doing it, what kind of development process I will use it. It's too much variables here that even if I want, I will not be able actually to control. So that's why I like this another project. And this is actually very good to explain this way of like art of losing control. I'm ready for surprise. It can be not so good, of course, when you don't control. So uh, that was, the, I think, the strongest part of losing control. You need to learn how to lose control. You need to be ready that yeah, sometimes it will go out of control. Sometimes it could be not so good. You need to embr embrace it. Yeah, you need to be ready and you, you need to enjoy this moment also. When something not so beautiful as you want, when something different. But it's always experimenting, it's always playing, it's always exploration. I think we can come to a conclusion basically very short. So what this talk about? It's about the art of losing control. So to lose control, first you need to embrace the possibility of failure. Failure. Second, to lose control, you need to understand it. You need to understand this part of control, you need to understand how the system works so you can collaborate. Yeah. 
when you're trying to collaborate with some person, you need to understand the style, the way it works. So it's, it's, it's not about, okay, I don't, I don't care. It's about you understanding and you collaborating with it. But you're not trying to control another person. You're not trying to control life. You're not trying to really control environment. It's all about collaborating and be surprised by the outcome. You never know how it will turn out. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this quick talk. Have a good day.